Each fall, there's a buzz with the anticipation of the migration of the steelhead. And there's a parallel migration of the local and visiting anglers back to the rivers as well. My name is Melissa Moore. I live in Telco, BC. My husband Dave Evans and I co-own the Bulkley River Lodge together, which is in the traditional territory of the Wet'suwet'en. I started angling quite young, saltwater fishing for salmon, rock cod, digging clams. So there's one of my brother and I, and at one point in my life I used to be scared of fish, I guess. <laughs> I moved to the Bulkley Valley when I was 18. I had ambitions of becoming a bush pilot, and I just fell in love with the mountains and the river and the lifestyle. And I actually didn't start fly fishing or fishing freshwater uh, until my early 20s. But I knew as soon as I saw it and I experienced it that it was something that was changing my life. I was going around the province uh, examining rafting guides and I was up here in the north and I met a guy named Colin Shadrach. Next thing you know he's asking if I was interested in being a steelhead guide. One of the clients, his name was John Woodward. We became pretty good friends and we were always chatting on the river and I had a dream that I wanted to own a fishing lodge and he supported my dream. We bought it in 2000, been running it ever since. Pretty amazing story. When I think about what we've built and created at the Bulkley River Lodge, I just feel so blessed. We've been able to participate in some pretty incredible experiences through the Lodge. Facilitating meetings and working with NGOs. The catch and release study done on the Bulkley River in 2016. The Bulkley River Lodge is a pretty special place. It's been of a vortex of good energy of people coming for years and years to that particular spot all sharing a passion of this place, of the people, and of course the fish. One of the cool things about these fish is that they've been in constant evolution from where the glaciation period started to melt off. They head out to the ocean, they swim up the river hundreds and hundreds of miles, they navigate class five rapids, find their way back to the natal stream, and that desire to reproduce is ingrained into them. That's one of the iconic things about these fish that I think people are attracted to. I'm really proud of all the work and effort that people in our communities have contributed towards the conservation of the steelhead. I'd like for us to be able to expand and grow on that together. It's all part of an encompassing journey we share while angling for wild steelhead in a beautiful place. <laughs>